do I have to file ISF for Meatball Cutter? Hello there, and welcome back to our Customs Brokerage video series. In today's episode, we will be discussing whether filing an importer security filing, ISF, is required for a meatball cutter. The meatball cutter is an essential piece of equipment used in the food processing industry to prepare meat-based products. It is efficient, time-saving, and widely used by butchers, delis, and food manufacturers. However, when it comes to importing a meatball cutter, certain customs regulations need to be followed. The ISF, also known as the 10 plus 2 rule, is a requirement by the U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP, for importers to provide specific information about their shipments before they arrive in the United States. This filing must be done at least 24 hours before the vessel departs from the foreign port. Now, let's address the question at hand. Do you have to file an ISF for a meatball cutter? The answer depends on the circumstances surrounding your importation. Generally, the ISF is required for goods that are being imported into the United States by vessel, which includes both cargo and certain equipment. However, there are exemptions for certain types of cargo, and this may include a meatball cutter. To determine whether you need to file an ISF for your meatball cutter, you will need to consider its classification under the Harmonized System HS, codes used for customs purposes. HS codes are internationally standardized codes assigned to different products to facilitate trade and customs processes. By identifying the correct HS code for your meatball cutter, you can determine whether it falls under an exemption to the ISF filing requirement. It's important to note that if your meatball cutter is considered to be an accessory or part of a larger machine classified under a different HS code, you may need to file the ISF for the entire machine and not just the cutter itself. To accurately identify the applicable HS code for your meatball cutter, it's recommended to consult with a customs broker or a knowledgeable professional in the field. They can provide guidance on the specific requirements and exemptions associated with your specific import. If it is determined that filing an ISF is indeed necessary for your meatball cutter, there are several information elements that will need to be included in the filing. These include shipper and consignee details, importer information, HTS code, description of the goods, and other relevant shipment details. Remember that failing to comply with the ISF filing requirements can result in penalties and delays for your import. It's essential to stay informed and ensure that all necessary filings are completed accurately and in a timely manner. In summary, whether you need to file an ISF for your meatball cutter depends on its classification under the HS codes and whether any exemptions apply. Consulting with a customs broker or professional familiar with customs regulations can help you navigate through this process successfully. That brings us to the end of this episode. We hope you found this information helpful and informative. Stay tuned for more videos on customs brokerage, customs bond, and international trade. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to receive updates on our upcoming content. Disclaimer note below. Thank you for watching, and see you soon.